All right, so now it's time to run cleaning shots. We'll change our spot size down in the scan list uh, in this default line, which will be grayed out. Uh, you click on it, a drop down menu will show up, and you're going to do a 40 micron circle. And the only other thing we're going to change is our shot count from 110 to 3. So just input 3 and hit enter. Just like what we did with setting our Z position, we're now going to select everything and apply settings. All, and then we'll go to the apply settings button. Click on it, a window will pop up. Right above it, make sure that everything in here is ticked. In order to do that, just hit select all and then hit apply. Down in the scan list window, you should now have 40 micron spots for everything and a shot count of three. Before we initiate our cleaning shots, we just have to check that our beam alignment is correct. So we will move back up and in our tools, we will change to our navigate sample. And while we're up here in our laser controls off to the left, we will turn our purge on again. We will enable the laser. We will change our shot count to one because we just want one burst and then we will change our spot size to 40 micron. Always change to the spot size that you are about to ablate in order to check beam alignment. All right, so once we have that, we will come back into the live laser. We'll pick a salient point in the epoxy, and then we will just fire off the laser to check our alignment. What we're gonna be looking for is the spot in reference to this red circle. So I'll come back up and I will fire the laser off about three times, one, two, three and now back in our laser view we can see that our spot is shifted off um, to the right so we will need to bring it back to the left and we can do that by uh, the screwdriver controls on the laser which you can see there there's a sticky note here that tells you what each screwdriver does uh, the small kind the smaller one is left and right movement uh, the longer one is up and down movement since we need to shift our spot back to the left we are going to turn this screwdriver counterclockwise um, and what you're going to feel is there's going to be some looseness on it. You're going to feel it hit the nut that's in there, and you just want to do very, very tiny movements. So I'm going to go counterclock, I mean clockwise, just a little bit. I just felt it turn a smidge. All right, so from our previous spot position here, um, we wanted to move to the left. So we've made the adjustment. I'm going to click off to a new piece of epoxy and fire off three more shots. It is now pretty clear we still need to go very very minor movements so we'll move to another one and we will fire off three more one two three and now our alignment is much better the entire circle of our 40 micron spot is within the crosshairs we can now run our cleaning shots uh, we're gonna go into our run scans window and now we're going to change our pauses, even though these pauses are set from when uh, we were tuning. So we don't have to change anything. I'm just going to briefly go through them. Pause number one should be two seconds always. Pause number two for cleaning shots, which is this line, should be zero seconds. Pause number three, zero seconds. And pause number four is always zero seconds. So once this is true, all of our uh, spot sizes are 40 and we have three shots. We can then start our cleaning shots. So we are just going to hit start on our run scans window. And then we're just going to make our screen smaller just so we can observe our cleaning shots. And so you'll see that it will just go to every single spot, do three quick little bursts, and then move on to the next one until it's completed with all the spots within the scan list. At this moment in time, it's a great uh, opportunity to set up the mass spec while this is running. So let's go ahead and do that.